real vibes, real shit, real stories. Come get a bite at the Lunch Meat Podcast. Yeah, yeah, we just creep on your block. Yeah, yeah, we just creep on your block. Yeah, we just creep on your block. No TLC, but we creep on your block. Yeah, creep on your block. Yeah, yeah, we just creep on your block. Nina on me and it's black as fuck. Lift that bitch up and give tummy tucks. No TLC, boy, I creep on your block. Four fives is dead and that bitch busting out. All of these racks, boy, they stay poking out. Two fifty round glocks, that's a hundred round drop. She suck me up while I'm drinking a pop. She call me daddy, I ain't even a pops. Pass me the ball and then run my shoe fuck. Call me a body, now I'm ready most. Catch me a play and then get the work off. Take to the trap and then whip that bitch raw. All of these bitches, I stay fucking raw. What is a magnum? I take the shit off. Pump from the back while she tick on my balls. Taking that shit out and bust on the jaw. Shaking and baking, I feel like John Wall. Passing the nine off, oh yeah, I'm Rondo. Hit Welcome to today's episode of the Lunch Meat Podcast. And today we have one of the dopest, rawest, new crafty artists in the game. All the way from Goose Creek, South Carolina. Yes, By the way, Texas represent for the big T. Yes, you know what I'm saying? T's ATM, ladies and gentlemen. T's ATM. Let's go. Clap it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, T's man. It's a pleasure to uh, be here, man. So, um, let the, let the world know who you are, man. Uh, I'm Tees. I come out the way of Texas. I've been rapping for two years now. And I'm here with my mates. Yeah, hey, we rolling too, man. Yeah, we rolling. Kevin Gates. I, I don't say <laughs> Kevin Gates, bro. Yeah, you're, not, hey. you're really not the only one. But, yeah. Uh, people tell me that I look like him, I sound like him. Or it's either him or uh, Lil Bibby. Oh, baby. I get a little baby a lot. The voice, wise, but the voice, like, <laughs> yeah, the yeah, yeah, voice. But that song, dog, the one you did at the club, mm-hmm. I said Kevin Gates, dog. You said something about, you know, eating a pussy. I said, all right, all right, all right, all right dog. I, I put that song in the car. I'm not the truth, bro. That's who I look to, mm-hmm. like up to you, so that was it. Okay. Like, yeah. So yeah, I still so this flow. All right, hell yeah, hey, shit. Hey, I make work for it. All right, so teams, man, we go. Like, like I would start off with all the artists, man. So a lot of people listen to the music. Mm-hmm. They know, they see people on YouTube or on TV, but they really don't know the life mm-hmm. of the artist. So we're gonna start talk about your uh, your childhood, your upbringing. Okay. So you know, share the world. You know what you, how you grew up and whatnot. Okay. Um. Well, I'm originally from Bucksport, South Carolina. Mm-hmm. That's where I was born. Bucksport. Yeah. Bucksport. I never heard that. Right. right. <laughs> it's little. It's in South Carolina. Uh, it's right beside Conway. I was born in Conway okay. Hospital. So, uh, like three or four, I moved to New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Then, 15, I moved to Goose Creek. Okay. So then, uh, 18, I moved to Texas. So, I mean, childhood wasn't bad, bro. I was raised by my mama, you yeah. know, single mom. And then she met someone. They was married. They ain't together no more. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't too rough, man. I, I can't say like I grew up with the rats and the roaches and yeah. you know how the yeah. rappers, you know, yeah, they grew up in, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I was middle class, bro. Um, okay. We had ups and downs. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like just regular black people shit. Like, yeah. Like, truth, bro. Like <clears throat> so it wasn't too hard, bro. Like I really could do what I want. Mm-hmm. Uh, I still do what I want. Yeah, but yeah it, was, it was straight though. Um, it was beautiful. Just being raised by a woman and see your upbringing, you know what I'm saying? To to where I am now, she, she happy, I'm happy. So you you think it would have been it would it would have been the same if you had the other figure in your in your life too? That no. Time? Okay. Because uh, from what she tell me, like truthfully, I met my dad one time. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was at my graduation party mm-hmm. from high school. He came, seen me. I was, it was weird because you know yeah, what I'm saying? Hey, you hey. know what I'm saying? You never seen him oh, before, so it's like, <laughs> <laughs> And so he was showing me something. He had a tab in his arm with my name, and that shit was still so I was about threw me over the edge. Yeah. I was like, bro, get your ass out of here. You on one of my biggest days as a teenager. You know what I'm saying? You're going to come. You know, the day you graduate, that's a big day for you. You know that's what I'm saying? That's important day. That's important, mm-hmm. exactly. So, he came, and then I was like, man, you're going to have to deal with My mom was like, yeah, I'm with you. So, yeah. he pulled off and come back and asked me for some gas money. Oh, hell no, no. And, and I swear. I said, man. I no. Said, I swear. I said, mama, you sure know how to pick up what I said. <laughs> hey, I swear. <laughs> swear. Hey, but, I, you know, you, still, you know, I learned this from OG. Mm-hmm. Shout out to TK Kirkland, man. And um, 
he was like, even though the father wasn't really in your life, so gotta thank, thank him in a way. Yeah, because hey, and I, mm-hmm. to be honest, I get mm-hmm. it. I only got a hundred and something dollars for my graduation, so I gave him <laughs> forty of that yeah. to go. So that motherfucker owes me forty dollars. Yeah. I don't care what you say. Forty, forty, right 40 dollar check, dog. Hey, Douglas Stone, you owe me forty. Right, that's a forty dollar yeah, check. Oh God, <laughs> you owe me forty. <laughs> Gas money, dog. Gas money. I'm pulling Come a on. red car. Come on, man. <laughs> All right, so you know your upbringing was pretty cool, man. So it was mm-hmm. really, I say really subtle or the black experience. Mm-hmm. You know, there's different back black experiences, or lower black experience, straight from the hood, like back to green, them boys mm-hmm. really going through it. Then there's um like like John's Island, we're middle class to Goose Creek, how some go, he goes up mm-hmm. and up. So where did your musical influences come through from all that? Did your mom or someone? Sh- 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 mm-hmm. My mom would rap. Your mom could rap? Mm-hmm. Like, her pen isn't good. Like, mm-hmm. if she sit and think about it too long, she'll mess it up. Mm-hmm. But she can freestyle. Okay. Like, just start rapping. She used to do that. Like, you ever just get in trouble and your parents are messing with you all the time about it? Mm-hmm. Like, you done did something. And she, yeah. would, she would make songs. You would be at the kitchen table and she would like, you just keep on I was like, what? But she used to do stuff like that, and it was like, and then of course being around uh, Marco, uh, all of them, they was doing music in high school already. Mm. So it was like, I don't want to rap, but I can do this. I feel I could do this. It's feel like, all right, you know how there's your your group of friends are. I say, like you said, football players, right? You you, you don't want to play football, but you, you know you can do it. Yeah. So like. The gravitational. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah, the gravitational pull, really. It's like, mm-hmm. uh, man, all the people I hung around with, uh, Wombat, Darrell, Jaquay, mm-hmm. Marco, Trizzy, Don, all of them was rapping in high school. And it was like, I would just watch or, you know what I'm saying, give critiques and stuff. But it was like, they was really putting music out in high yeah. school. And it was like, hmm, it took me till I got to like 21, 22. To really just be like, you know, I'm, I'm a rap. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, what's, why not? And yeah. So between high school and uh, the time that you started rapping, what, you, what was you doing between then? I joined the army. Oh. Yeah. Worst okay. decision of my life. I <laughs> hey, didn't like you know it. I didn't like it. I got right out. I went uh, to the <laughs> ground. I went on my deployment. Yeah. Well, what, what you got to Well, I'm not sure if it was said, but yeah. Oh shit! Hey, no, hey. Wait, 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 I went to we open today. Yeah, we, but uh, yeah, yeah. I went to uh, at first I went to Kuwait and then mm-hmm. I went with my uh, my higher up to Iraq. Oh, okay. I was I was a driver. Oh, so, eighty eight Mike. Yeah, I got a long girl. It's eighty eight Mike. Yeah, she's so know. scary. Yeah, <laughs> really, though, really though, you going into the city, man. You don't know what's going on. So really, that's why I'm gonna say this. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of people that be like, you know rap about some street shit. You don't really know the feeling of that. Like the streets, I can deal with that shit. That's just nothing. Yeah. But when you somewhere foreign and then people don't like you just because you are American, American mm-hmm. that's a whole different type of rival. Well, that's a whole different type of war. You know what I'm saying? That bring out a whole different type of person in you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That street shit is cool. Y'all gonna fight over territory. That's cool. They fighting for oil, their freedom. They be, you know what I'm saying? Legend. Religion, everything. So it's a whole different war zone out there. So, now, so I, I would say this, right? All right, you know, we got Chris Woods, oh, all yeah. those, right? Yeah. If he, they want to shoot somebody, they can do it. Getting paid. Mm-hmm. Getting paid. All and they in the military. Because yeah, they ain't really like that. <laughs> they might. I right. mean, it's, all right, you got gang wars and stuff, mm-hmm. but what does that really end up? You might kill one person, maybe. Mm-hmm. Most of them people, they just shoot because they got some. They ain't going to hit nothing. Mm-hmm. They're not. But when you, it's you and somebody else. And shooting to really kill you. Yeah, shooting to really kill you. That's when you go, all right, cool, let me see you do it. Yeah. Because I've seen plenty of people in, in uniform. Oh, so man, I can't wait to get over there. All right. Freeze up. Yeah. And that AR don't go off. It was like. Mm. <laughs> he just quit. Yeah. And he's shooting at you, what yeah. you're going to do. Exactly. So it's a whole different environment. So when I came back, I was like, yo, yeah, if I want to rap about some street shit, it's gonna be too easy because I didn't been to the worst, you know what I'm saying? So it yeah. was like too easy. Man, you didn't get it. I didn't quit. Was that bad, man? You know, not, not, not quit. Yeah. I rap. I rap. Yeah, All right. I rap so 
I did Dubai the deployment, so it was dope. Dubai, yeah, Dubai, yeah, 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 yeah. six yeah. months, Dubai. You know, shout out to Dubai, folks. We did nine. Um, I spent four of it in Iraq, and but truthfully, it was some of my worst and my best time. Mm -hmm. I, like, I had a good time out there. I met a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I, I touched the camel. Yeah, you know, yeah. you know, South Carolina, you don't see no camel. You, don't, <laughs> you got, you, you got like yeah. goats and shit. Chickens. And <laughs> you, don't, you don't see no camels. I was uh, touching camels. I rode one. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know that they eat trash. That was mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah, but, yeah. I mean, the people. Some people were nice. Some was it really funny? Yeah, some. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but but the thing about that, I, I was talking to someone earlier. I did a, a episode with a filmmaker yesterday, mm -hmm. right here from Atlanta. Yeah. And she was like, the way they treat black Americans over there, they like they get treated better over there than what they do here, which is very true. Mm -hmm. So it was like, as soon as they see me, Dubai, hey, what's going on, brother? Mm -hmm. Hip hop, hip hop, yeah, yeah, hey man, anything you want, we got you. Yep. Yeah. And that's the yeah. the brown in you. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what uh, it was kind of offensive, but that's what we used to really call them, the, the brown people. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But, black and brown. Yeah, black and brown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they really. You're right though. Black people that have a lot of respect for us and will do a lot for us. Like, yep. uh, like <laughs> you're not supposed to get liquor and stuff over there. Yeah. But they was looking me <laughs> up though. I like that's the type of love you get out. I be over there drunk. I ain't supposed to drink nothing. I was over there total. Yeah. Yeah, having a good time. But yeah, it's, it's, it's also high pedestal. Up, so. mm -hmm. It's also messed mm -hmm. up though. So it, it is what you make it. Yeah. Every action got a reaction. That's how you handle it. That's how. Every action got a reaction. Mm -hmm. All right. So you know, you went to your military career. You got out. It wasn't for you. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. So I know a lot of people that got out because you know the authority part is kind of hard, which is not very hard. understandable. Yeah. But it's not hard. It's just, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So um, from then, the musical journey started, right? Right. What was your first musical steps in life? Mm, man, all right. This is a funny story. You gonna see this too. <laughs> True. So uh, I was with my cousin uh, Fly. Okay. Uh, we had an apartment together. We was in Texas. Uh, he was telling me he was going to the studio because he was doing camera work. You know, he wanted. To, and I was like, Well, I'm not going. Yeah. I don't care. Like, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, Nah, you finna go. And he took my car keys. And I was like. Well, I'm not gonna sit at the house all day. So I was like, all right, cool, let's go. When I met this dude named Trill, which is like my brother now, but uh, met him and I told him like, man, all right, what's up, I wanna rap? And he told me no, mm. right to my face. I was like, well, actually, what y'all are asking, what you talking about? <laughs> he was like, if you come back and you serious, bro, he was like, then I'll, I'll take you for real. Yeah. And I came back and I did a song and truthfully, no one will ever hear this song in my life. Why you said that? It's horrible. The, the worst of the worst. I'm talking about put the worst song you ever heard and then my voice on it. Oh, um, like low beat. Oh my yeah. god, you can't be worse than low beat, dog. Yeah, like that, uh, what's that song they had? Uh, Riding Around Town, Lil B and Soldier Boy. Yeah, yeah oh my like god, that, that shit's yeah. horrible. Yeah. People yeah. love that shit. They had like the four minutes, just like I did my song, and then yeah. I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah, this ain't it. And I went back and did another one, but it was like a, a heartfelt song. I liked that one, mm -hmm. but I didn't finish it. And then the laptop got broken, so all of this is just gone. Yeah. But those were my first songs, and truthfully, I was recording a lot of songs that uh, I knew I wasn't going to put out, mm -hmm. because before I even put out music, I was learning the business part of it first, mm -hmm. before I just step out and... Most like most people now, they don't even know no kind of business in the music. They just making music and making videos. It's like mm. you break, get paid for it. So break it down for people who don't know. Mm -hmm. So because a lot of people, like you said, are doing that. Just yeah. content, scrapes content. Yeah, yeah. But understand, understand the business part. Help help some people out. So all right, it's nothing wrong with putting out content. I'll put that out first. Mm -hmm. That's what people want to see: consistency videos, stuff like that. That's where I haven't even got it. I got one video right now. Mm -hmm. But I feel like as I keep dropping music, the music will speak, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then once you hear your music, like, you know what I'm saying? I look at my stats every week after since me, my weekly stats of listens and stuff like that. So every song that I see that I keep rising, 
before I put out something new, I'll do a video to that. Mm. Like right now, No Sleep came out almost eight months ago. Mm. But I've been putting out singles and stuff like that. But continuously, like even last week, I got 153. I mean, I'll promote it here and there, yeah. but like, I don't feel not like I should because I've been busy, I've been doing a whole bunch of stuff. So I usually just put it on like my story, mm -hmm. stuff like that, like, you know, cause I'm typing my name on Instagram, like on the music section, my name pop up. So all my music is on there. So I just put it on my story and just let people listen to it. And then of course, they don't click it. Yeah. You know, all right, so, um, but as business-wise, like we were saying, mm -hmm. um, I feel like the first thing you should do is register. Register okay. your name, register as an artist. I think like, you can do that through yeah, BMI okay. or ASCAP. BMI is free, which is rather mm -hmm. so cheap. So, Hell yeah, hey, yeah. shout out all the cheap people. I use yeah, cheap exactly. platforms. Two, exactly. eight. Cheap, exactly. oh, camera. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is just for the gram. I'm cheap, all right? <laughs> so, um, but yeah, ASCAP, I believe it's 20 bucks or something like that. Okay. But, yeah, whatever. So, so is it one of those platforms that like say you, you put your name in right here, register your artist name, mm -hmm. and so it goes to like Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora, and stuff like that? Everything, yeah. Okay. And um, you have been, I, I, I don't want to be wrong, but I feel like it's an IRC or IRS code mm -hmm. that you have. So uh, like even when we, I did that show in Atlanta, yeah. I got paid for it without them paying me. Oh. Because my songs are registered. So. Uh, a good example, uh, Marco says too. You know, before we got on, we had to email the songs to the DJ. So mm -hmm. I emailed the songs, and when he was dragging from his file, my album cover came on. Mm -hmm. Like while he dragged it, most people would drag their song and just the file comes. You know, yeah. he clicked the song and drug it, and my album came. Right, he, yeah, exactly. And he drug it across. I was getting paid regardless. So that means there's a copyright to mm -hmm. it. Okay. Yeah. 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 So. Um, that, that's probably the biggest thing. Okay. There's a lot of artists that's unregistered. And if it's somebody like myself, mm -hmm. I don't steal people's music. Mm -hmm. But if I really wanted to, I really could. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you're not registered and you got a nice song, that's I, what I'm happy. So, so you're someone underground, right? They make a dope, a dope ass song. Mm -hmm. Not a registered, just did it. Mm -hmm. Just put on YouTube, something like that. Mm -hmm. That's you copy yeah. the same copy flow. The whole thing. The whole thing. <laughs> I'm talking about, I can take whatever it is. Like, that's yeah. why I don't like SoundCloud or none of that. Because, like, uh, people will say now, like, even uh, Little Pump and stuff, they came up as SoundCloud rappers. Mm -hmm. But he even sued people for stealing his music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you're not in the business aspect, like, you can have a whole bunch of talent. Your stuff will be stolen. Like, mm -hmm. I don't have no, I don't even have an iCloud, I mean, a SoundCloud, none of that. Like, so it's strictly strictly professional major platform, yes. Mm, yes. That's some jewels strictly. for people who don't know. And I've been dropping jewels for a long time. <laughs> I ain't lying. Yeah. For at least a year. A straight jewels. Drop another one for the fans. It's uh, a random one that a random one. Yeah. Jewelry. I just said this not too long ago. Jewelry. Right. 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 Jewelry. If you go and register your name and have a business, right? Let's say I want to go register a business, like an LLC. Yeah. Right. You would take that, have your money, you know, they'll give you a little business card, you know, who you bank or whatever, spend that on jewelry, and guess what? Keep the receipt and you get it in tax return. You made your money work for you and made you look good. Hold on, what? Right, right. So, all right, Sam, a thousand dollar chain, right? Mm -hmm. I get the receipt. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get a thousand in tax returns, but you take that receipt, you're going to get half or more than your money back because you used your business card, so you used it for business expense. Come on, man. I'm God damn it. I'm giving y'all game. I just want to thank you card when you shine. That's it. That's it. Send me a uh, thank you card. Give me on IG God. or something. Exactly. That's smart as hell. Is it? Because your brand name, your name, our name is business. Yeah. And one more, it's my last jewel. Yeah. Give it for free. All right. Now, let's say your business name, right? You can go, let's say you have a term or uh, an abbreviation that you want registered as your own. Like, you know how Cardi B got 
what's that shit? Uh, some some word that she registered mm. to where you can't, you know what I'm saying? Use it without it being copyrighted. Right? Uh, right. That, that skirt mm -hmm. thing she be doing? Yeah. yeah, so if you go, like, my brand is ATM. Mm -hmm. uh, you go and you buy you a chain, right? That has ATM on it. You don't even have to use your business card because it's your business. You don't get that back in half the time. Mm. What if someone say, hey, I gotta go to the ATM? See, all right, so that's where <laughs> the abbreviation yeah. becomes, they're gonna ask you about it, of course you're gonna put ATM, but if, underneath it'll be addicted to money. That's mm. it. So, addicted to money, I go get that on a necklace or a chain. So, so ours can't use addicted? No, so they, they, yeah, they can't use the whole thing. Like, okay, mm -hmm. of course, ATM is already a thing. Yeah. But if you use ATM as addicted to money, I will sue your ass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah all your yeah, shit. I'll, I'll, all your shit. It don't matter what it is. ATM, addicted to money, is my shit. Don't steal my shit. And it's cool if you do. Because, uh, shout out to Shannon Riley, my lawyer. <laughs> we getting that clip. <laughs> And uh, if you do, if you do decide to take it, make sure you shout this man out. Give the credit where exactly. credit is due. Or at least let me sign you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So after the jewels you just dropped, mm -hmm. right? So back to the music. So your first studio song that you put everything together. Your first song that you was proud of. You perform. Mm -hmm. What was that experience? Um. Breathtaking. Mm. I uh. And it's funny how it happened because, uh, shout out to my homie Lito. I did this song called FYPM. Um, now this is how happy I was with the song. It is on the side of my face. What does it say right here? It might be hard. I think it say FYPM. It's, it's on one of these sides. What is it? Wait, yeah, beer. Yeah. All right, I see it, All right, yeah. So FYPM, fuck you pay me. I thought I was about to say fuck your pussy up. No. My bad. I know. <laughs> nah, FYP and fuck you pay me. Okay. So I did it and uh my homie Lito, he was like, hey bro, I got the song that I mean the show that I'm doing, I want you to be a part of, I want you to be the opening act. So I was like, I I ain't never performed before or nothing. And so I'm like, okay, cool, I'll do the shit. And then two days later, he come with a whole different roster of people on the show. Mm. So at first, I was opening up for, uh, what's her name? Uh, Britney something. Britney something from Love Hip Hop. The big girl? No, the skinny. Yeah, I don't know that. All right, well, <laughs> you know Britney. Yeah. Britney, uh. Shout out to Britney. Matter of fact, I put it out there just for my mans. Afterwards, we did that. Yes, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, all was, of that. All of that. So, uh. It was clapping just gonna be, yeah, clapping cheeks. <laughs> so uh, we was it was just for her. And then two days later, it was Young Dro mm -hmm. and uh, Lou Got Cash mm -hmm. from New York. So I ended up doing that, and it was it was life changing. Yeah, like at least in my eyes. Of course, it was Young Dro. Maybe two thousand people came, mm -hmm. but still, that shit was like. For someone who's never been on stage, I never did anything. This is my one song that I'm happy about, and I get to perform it. It was like, <laughs> oh, this is crazy. And then when I got off the stage, I was sweating. I was, I went outside, I got some fresh air, mm -hmm. and I came back. And this is what made me know that I can, I could do it. Young Joe was like, that was good. Keep it up. Mm -hmm. So of course I already knew, like, okay, cool. He might not have liked the song, mm -hmm. but he seen the potential there. Yeah. So I was like, all right, cool. This Russian lady, I got her on Facebook, so uh, I'm not sure your name, I apologize. Yeah. But I signed her tickets when I was done. Yeah. And I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> this is it. This is the life I want right, yeah, here. Yeah. right here. And her friend, she was like, well, uh, she ain't had no tickets. So she told me to sign a napkin. Yeah, oh like, man. Uh, it went from up to like, oh, you lame. Like, yeah. <laughs> but yeah that, yeah, that was my first experience. It was, it got me a, a, a nice name. Because of course I was on flyer. So, you know, most celebrities they're gonna post where they be at, it got me a lot of followers, it got me some attention, but. Okay, so that, 
that moment you got on stage, right? You walk on stage, nervous. The crowd, the crowd looking at you. They don't know who you is in a way. Right. No, they didn't know. They so no clue. Like what? What was your as a as a rapper mm -hmm. first time performing? Your eyes looking at everybody. Mm -hmm. Your what, what's what's going, what's going through your mind? Like man, I gotta rock this year or even before. This is oh, people who's about to perform first time. Truthfully, mm -hmm. when I got on the stage and I seen all the people, I was I was terrified. I was like, whoa. But my my brother Nick, shout out to Nick, uh, he was in the back by the bar. Yeah. So that was my focus. I looked over everyone <laughs> to the bar like I'm rapping to the Hennessy bottles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it, shout out to Hennessy. Yeah, shout out to Hennessy. Uh, but that was. Yeah, that's, that really helped me because I didn't have to look at no one. I didn't have to look in people's eyes. Like mm -hmm. most people, when you look, they look. Like, yeah, this is <laughs> Yeah, so it's like, oh, you know what I'm saying? It made me second guess, like, damn, what if a nigga knows snotty or, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You rapping, your mouth get dry, you be like, damn, all these people looking. So if you don't even pay them no attention, you're going to do how you do, you know what I'm saying? Just rock out. That's what I do, shit. Now I'm to the point where. Yeah, I, was, I look people in the face. I don't even care no more. It's yeah, just, yeah, and yeah it's just crowd control is amazing. Yeah, and get up there and just be comfortable, because mm -hmm. truthfully, a crowd will eat you alive if they see that you're terrified. Yeah, yeah they will. They will intimidate you. You be up there. You done messed up your song, your own lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you wrote this. There's no yeah. way that you should. You know what I'm saying? Fumble your words. That was the one thing I was told. You made the song, and you don't know your words. Never gonna be a good thing. Never. No matter how you put it. I, every song that I've done, I know the words before I go to the studio. Mm -hmm. Now, I will say, I don't freestyle, I write everything. So. It was very important. I mean, yeah. Marco, he's, he, he freestyles super good. Yeah. But the writer, too, as well, mm -hmm. if you if you even have that mm -hmm. ability, that skill to write, yeah. do it. Because some of you have ghost writers, yeah. which I think sucks. It does because it, mm -hmm. it turns into a pawn. Mm. You're a pawn in a chess game, you know? If somebody writes your music for you, you don't get to use your creative mix. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's what music gets to me. It's like, you can get out your comfort zone and create what you want. Truthfully. I mean, shit, even with music, you can be who you want. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you music, anybody. It, yeah, exactly. You can say anything, do anything. That's why a lot of people respect the music I make because I say whatever I want to. Mm. It's my creative genius. It's what I, I put on the table. Is what I wrote down. So can't no one take that from me. Can't no one tell me I can't. No, nah, if I thought about it, I can do it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I go right and let's say if I go book a session on a Friday, mm -hmm. I finish the song, I rap that song every day until Friday come or until I have to record. So then when I'm there, I'm barely looking at the paper. I done already memorized it and I'm just rapping. So I might look at it as like for a reference or something, mm -hmm. but um, I already had it mostly in my mental already. So you can think about it almost like a a a professional game, right? You yeah. practice all week. Practice all week. You know, yeah. game next Saturday, next Sunday. Exactly. exactly. So you're not, you're not gonna fuck off. You gonna yeah. Do what you gotta do. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't. Uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna shout out Trill again because he hates that I don't yeah. go out no more. Like. I haven't been out in a long time, bro. I've just been music, 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 and like branding and stuff like that. He's like, man, you gonna come out? No. Nah. <laughs> no, I'm not coming. I'm not. Because nah. you, you, you realize that what you're doing is really fun to you. Yeah. You'd rather do that than yeah. go out to the club. Like, I'd rather do this than do anything else in the world. Mm -hmm. and so, just, like, just like high school, bro. You go, you miss a day of practice, you ain't gonna play on Friday. Exactly. You know I mean? So that's how I feel. Uh, if I miss a day, you don't know what's happening. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You don't. You don't use it. You lose it. Mm -hmm. And time is precious. I always say. I always say uh, this every day. I wish it was 48 hours in a day, yep. rather than 24. Yep, that'd be perfect. Yep. Okay. So, grinding out. You know, did your live performances, man, and you're on the grind. On the grind. Yeah. So, your favorite, your favorite song that you made today. Mm -hmm. Uh. Itching is one of my favorites, um, right. just because I got to use somebody that I like music-wise. Mm -hmm. Of course, 
everybody knows Itch and My Future. Mm-hmm. It's a fact. Yeah. Yep. So I used that cool. hook. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I used that hook in the song, and it, it, it was like, okay, cool. Yeah. Somebody that I actually like musically, I could just take that and use it as my own. Mm-hmm. I like that. Uh, I like Phil Kelly because it's ignorant. People <laughs> love it. You know what I'm saying? People love it because. I, I love it. Nah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everybody loves that song because I say what they think. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You you like, damn, you really said that. Like, yeah, the deepest shit that you think in your mind, the darkest, crazy shit, I don't mind saying yep. and letting people hear it. Like, it makes you different. Yeah, exactly. And it, it makes people attracted to me because it's like, damn, this motherfucker don't give a fuck. No so filter. Yeah, no filter. Yep. So, yeah, they, they like that. And that's the best uh, reactions I get from those songs. Like, yeah. Okay. So... What, what can you tell uh, to get a young person, say who was in a position in high school, they run a group of friends that want to rap, mm-hmm. but uh, like their, their friends are rapping, but they want to be in it. So how can they get to start? Or if they want to reach out to you, how can they reach out to you and potentially mentor them or help yeah. them out? Okay. I don't know where this perception comes that I'm some mean person. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I just look this way. I'm very nice, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm very approachable. Uh, I like to talk to to younger kids, like, you know what I'm saying? It'd be cool to see that, like, even my brother Nick, we went to the mall one day, and little kids were like, tease. I was like, yo, what's up? Yeah. Shook hands and shit, and they were just like, <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? It's it's so weird. Yeah, and I was like, oh, this is, this is cool. And I was yeah. like, all right, cool. But, like, yeah, the kids, man, I, I don't mind, especially like high school, people younger than me, that's really who I give my gems to when I be putting them out, because people my age, I don't want to give them the gems because they're not going to use it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The young people, I feel they really, they they really trying to, trying to get it. You know what I'm saying? People my age already, after them are like settled down already, they know what they want in life, on boom, not me. I'm, I'm shooting for the stars. Yeah. Every day I'm doing something different or, you know what I'm saying? So I don't mind teaching or giving out gems. You know what I'm saying? It could be easy as, a, as an inbox. Mm-hmm. It might not be in a timely manner, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it'll, it'll get to you though, truthfully. If you come to my inbox and you ask me some, for some advice, I got you, mm-hmm. 100%. 100% I got you, but yeah, it might be the next day or something. <laughs> but trust me, yeah. I, I'll get to you. But yeah. Um, and the advice I would give them is don't let your environment mm. cut you off from what you really want to do. Mm. Most people get into situations or circumstances or a way of life that will be detrimental to your health and the way that you want to the way you want to grow up, the way you want yourself to grow up. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't have the same picture. You know what I'm saying? Most people want to stay where they at for the rest of their life. That's very understandable. Right. So even though you want them to see more than mm-hmm. just this screen, yeah, exactly. they but really you can't enjoy make that. Yeah, that's what they that's what they used to, that's what they like. So mm-hmm. I can't make you do something that you don't want to do. Mm-hmm. I can give you the advice, like, I can lead you to the water, but if you don't drink it, you're going to be a thirsty motherfucker. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So, Please. I give out free game all the time. Free game. Yeah. Dropping juice all episode. All episode. So, next thing you know is like, uh, how can someone reach you to do some music uh, for you or how can you listen to the music? Where, where can they find you? Um, Right now, you can find me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. Uh, my Instagram is T's underscore FF. Um, my Snapchat is my real name. Montel, M-O-N-T-E-L, mm-hmm. underscore F-G-C. And of course, my Facebook is same for me. Type of Montel T's. I'm a pop-up. Um, but for features, uh, most of the time, you get my email or my inbox. But, mm. but, <laughs> my prices went up two months ago. So yeah. you seeing this now. Prices you went up? Late. Yeah, you're too late. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's too late. But, we can speak business though. Yeah. If I if I if I like you as a person or I like the song that you send me, I will cut prices. I'm not stern. I'm not. 
that type of person get? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But this is yeah. very important. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, I just got a song from uh, I, my phone over there, but mm-hmm. I just got a song request uh, to be on a feature for someone. I told him to give me 100 bucks. Mm-hmm. And then he paid for it. So, but it's definitely uh, more than that. I definitely mm-hmm. uh, would charge about 600. Mm-hmm. And it go up from there. We can do videos and all that stuff. All of that come with pricing. So, just know that. That's that's what's up, man. And um, shout out to J Money. I'm gonna get you with J Money soon. They, they're big in Texas too. First name, last name, J Money. Not first name, last name. Okay, okay, okay. But J Money. Okay. And uh, the Prince. The Prince. And um, they they have a big thing in Texas right now. They're a dope ass music boy music group. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get you on boys, but you know, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's a pleasure. Yeah. But right after this ends here, stay tuned for the live performance. Woo-hoo. So, you know, team's about to do his thing. And it's gonna be exclusive. You're not gonna hear it nowhere else until my album drops. Hell yeah, let's get it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hell yeah. I've been on a fucking day with Don't need a house without your boss off the strap. Two guns up in the game, what about me? Real vibes, real shit, real stories. Come get a bite at the Lunch Me Podcast. 